Hi, I'm Nicole Leckie. I'm the creator and writer of Mood, and I also play Sasha. Mood is the story of Sasha. She is a wannabe singer. She gets kicked out of the family home, ends up sofa surfing with a drug dealer, and meets a party girl called Carly and takes us into a crazy world. Do you usually accept invitations from strangers? I'm just trying to get myself out there more. I'm working on my EP at the moment. I mean, the whole show, Mood, is written in an authentic way. I mean, there's nothing in the series that hasn't been, you know, delicately researched or kind of um, really, really like looked at with nuance and, and consideration and making sure that we're not showing stereotypes, that we're showing a balanced view of issues people face and that it, you know, it's coming from somebody who cares about the characters. And also you can even look at the casting and see that, you know, it's a very diverse show and has a really multicultural cast and, that extends even to like the, the essays that are in it, the extras, you know, I wanted to always make sure like this looks like London and that was important to me. Oh yeah, in 1959. <laughs> it was really key for me to have a character, a young woman in a drama that was genuinely authentically angry. You know, she has panic attacks and we sort of talk about mental health or, um, sex work and the rise of sex work, uh, family relationships, issues with drugs. She's really not the kind of criteria you see of like a leading woman in a TV show. She doesn't have a kind of entry point into the industry and I also didn't have that. And I know a lot of young people watching, you know, they're also really ambitious. So I think they, it will, Sasha will resonate with them as well. Come on, sing for me. All right. I know I'm alone and nobody knows what I gotta do for my survival. Mood, I would say, is really unique because it has these kind of musical sequences um, and it's inherently like woven into the storyline. So Sasha does sometimes like burst into song, but other times, you know, she might have this like fantasy or it goes into like a dream sequence. And it's a way for Sasha to connect directly with the audience. And her way of talking to camera is kind of singing a song. And that's where you kind of figure out what she's really thinking about the world. and. Um, also, it sort of has a lot of different genres musically, so I feel like we haven't seen that in television for, yeah, I don't know what it's comparable to. You think that you deserve everything. Have some pride in yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some pride in yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there are lots of reasons why somebody might go into sex work, and whether it's online sex work, meeting people, doing cam work, and Mostly those reasons are economical, you know, at the end of the day, people that aren't necessarily, don't have the best support maybe, and feel like they, those are the resources that are available for them. I think you just have to look at lockdown and understand that there was a huge rise in sex work and that was online and people were facing a lot of economic difficulty at the time. So you kind of can't take one without the other, but at the same time, you have to understand some people do enjoy their job and for them, it's the right choice. I think for me, it's all about going, what is the right choice for somebody? And that, that's kind of what mood is really presenting, I think. You need to stop being such a prude. Stop worrying about people's opinions who don't pay bills. And if you're gonna be working for me, you need to loosen up. All right, all right. The people that should be watching Mood, I would say young people, young women, men who are fuck boys, um, people that have ever ghosted a woman, um, teenagers who are evil to their sisters, parents who have no clue what their children are up to, grandparents who are living in a bubble and need to stay invested. That's who should watch it. Why are you looking at me like that? Where are you going? Not to see Anton, the police said. What did you do? Nothing, I swear. I swear on, on Kevin's life. This has nothing to do with me. Please, can you not swear on my life? Oh, my name's Kevin and I know everything because I got to bed at fucking 7 p.m. and I don't watch Love Island. I think people should watch Mood because they will genuinely feel something and 
ask themselves questions about the world they're living in.